my channel. My name is Queen Surreal. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about depression and the things that I've been fighting with depression and how I, you know, live day by day going through it and the stuff that I do to keep my mind off of certain things. So first, let me tell you about me. Um, I'm usually the type of person that stays in the house. I don't like to talk to people. I don't like to deal with people. I'm very antisocial. And also, like, the things that I like to do, like, if I want to, like, if I decide I want to go out, it's so hard to go out and kick it with friends all because I don't have any. And I just don't feel comfortable telling my business to everybody. But being that this is my YouTube channel, I am going to let you guys know a little bit of stuff that I go through. Not go through, but the stuff that I have to fight and, you know, to get through the day to make my life better. So, for instance, I'm at home all the time. And it's quiet. I have kids. But they're always doing their own thing. They always playing their video games or, you know, running around. But I'm usually in my room, and like a, a lot of things come to my mind. I am bipolar, I'm schizophrenic, um, I have anxiety, I suffer from depression, um, I have ADHD, um, and there's maniatic depression. I mean, maniatic bipolar. I have a lot of things that's going on with me that I've been diagnosed with, but I mean, at the same time, I try to put those things to the side just because I'm diagnosed with it. I don't try to live with it and I don't try to be like, oh yeah, this is me. I don't try to make excuses for the things that I do, like that I do just because I have it. Do I take medication? No, I don't take any type of medication. I don't drink to alter my feelings or my mood um i don't smoke weed to alter my feelings or mood um i don't do any type of drugs i i'm not a pill person so they can't give me pills because i'm just gonna look at them and probably throw them at them or something like i'm not a pill person i don't deal with it um and i do i've heard that some people when they take those antidepressant pills or the medication that they try to offer you in the future, it's going to affect you mentally. And I've learned that from my father growing up when he always said, if they ever try to offer your kid, you know, Ritalin or something like that, don't let them take it because that type of medication, it sedates you and then you'll be walking around slurred. You probably won't even be walking around. You could probably be just sitting here slurred like, drilling from your mouth and that's not something that you want to take around your other kids because they're going to look at you like mom what the heck is wrong with you so yes i don't recommend medication i what i do recommend is you like finding different things to change your brain like change the way you're thinking at the moment sometimes when i be in my room i get really depressed if i'm not like doing orders for people and I'm just sitting there, I get really, really depressed because I don't really have nobody to talk to if my brother is, you know, busy. Or, and I can't just get up and call him. He he got his own thing going. So I tried to deal with a whole lot of things. I even went into eating, overeating. So now I have to lose weight to get back my shape that I had just because I thought eating would take away some of the pain, but all, but that just only makes the depression worse because you're eating and you're just laying around depressed and crying, now you're gaining fat. Now that is starting to mess with your appearance. So when you wake up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, damn, I got these rolls. Uh, nah, I need to stop eating. Some people keep eating because they're scared to even try to lose it that messes with your depression so another thing i learned to do like 
instead of eating, I would go to the grocery store and I would buy like yogurts, like good food, like salads and stuff like that. So that way, when I do get hungry, when I do go through the depression and stuff, when I'm at home, I can, instead of eating like pizza, chicken, and all of that other stuff, I can eat peanuts. Like, I don't really like regular peanuts. I like pistachios. So I'll eat pistachios or I'll eat yogurt or I'll get the drinkable yogurts and drink those. Um, I start thinking about diet like ways that I can you know eat good and not become extremely fat so yeah I do that to fight depression um I write down my feelings into songs like I don't regular just I don't have just a diary that I just sit there and just write my feelings because that's not gonna work like it that don't help me because I can go back and I, I I really didn't release everything that I felt right then and there. So being that I like to sing, I write songs and I come into my studio, which is I'm in my studio now, I come into my studio and I sing. I stand up on the mic, I don't just sit there on the seat and sing. I stand up and I put my feelings into the song so that way you know you guys can hear like my emotions coming out instead of me just writing it down in a notebook and it's being kept to myself i don't want my feelings kept to myself so a diary isn't needed but i also want to release it and let people know like hey this is what i'm going through and if you're going through the same thing you know maybe this song can relate to it and help you feel better or whatever so that's why I put it in music to where everybody else can hear it. Um, another thing I learned to do was exercise. Like, I just started getting into this exercise thing. I went and bought a treadmill yesterday. No, the day before yesterday. For $175, I got equipment that's for abs and stuff. Um, I spend a cool amount of money on. I haven't really used that stuff yet. It's kind of hard, but I've been um trying to get into that. But uh, that's one thing that I think about to get out of depression. I'll start thinking, oh, maybe I need to go do this. Maybe I need, I should start exercising. Maybe I should go shopping. Ooh, that's another thing. <laughs> I go shopping. I have a seriously spending problem. So whenever you see me out shopping, buying stuff, it's probably because I'm depressed. I'm not doing it because, oh, it's just something that I just wanted to do. No, it's something that calms, calms me down. So if I'm going through like real world depression, I'll wake up and I'll be like, I need to get up off this house. I go probably to like Ross or Dee Dee's and I just shop it's days like dang near every other day I'll be spending like a hundred dollars buying clothes buying clothes buying clothes but not just for me but I buy them for my kids too so I mean that's good if you have money or whatever and your bills and stuff is paid treat yourself because you're only going to make yourself feel better when you treat yourself another thing I do is I watch TV <laughs> I'll try to find funny videos I can't really get into like regular movies like drama unless somebody's there with me and put it on and then I see something I'm like oh yes I want to watch it but I'll watch comedy to get me out of the depression mode. Like, I would want to laugh. I want to, you know, see somebody else do something stupid. So that's another thing that gets me out of depression. Um, I started, gain, like, creating other hobbies. Like, I like to do nails. 
when I don't have nothing else to do, when I'm absolutely so bored that I'm about to start thinking of crazy stuff, I'll go practice on my little nail hand. And I'll do that, or I'll go in the mirror, practice on my makeup. I'll go on eBay, shop, buy clothes. Um, I find it very hard to really talk to people about my problems because when you in a place where I live, I live in Bakersfield, California. When you live out here, everybody is against you. Nobody wants to see you do good. They do want to see you crying, depressed, and stuff like that. So they'll hit you up and ask you what's wrong. But they only doing that just to laugh and go run your information to the next person. So that's why I, I really don't talk to people in Bakersfield about what I'm going through. Honestly, I think Bakersfield is the place that keeps the depression there with you because there's no support out here. Um, if it wasn't for me trying to do YouTube, because that's another thing that I've tried to gain, try to get into because of the depression and it keeps me busy, keep me doing something. If it wasn't for YouTube, me working on like a lot of projects and I think I would probably be in a room just sitting there thinking about something depressing and that's not good um also I ain't gonna lie another thing that I do like doing that I gained and that really helped me with depression was finding something else to take care of like of course I have kids but they're already taken care of but like something like that to put your time, like you have to really think and stay focused about doing it. So I decided to grow a plant. Everybody know what kind of plant it is, but I mean, doing it is like, your mind is constantly thinking like, oh, what should I give it? Like, let me Google something about the plant. Like, how could I do this? How could I do that? Like, what news to give it? What lighting? Like, oh, I got to hurry up and get up and then set the timer for this or, you know, turn the light on to wake it up. Oh, I got to flush it. I got to do... It's a lot of stuff you have to do with a plant to take care of it. So, I find it very time-consuming, which is I have nothing but time. So, when that takes a lot out the day, like, to care for the plant... It makes the day go by faster and it keeps you from thinking about other things because now you're fascinated with how this plant looks to where you like, oh, like, you know. So that's another thing that I did to, you know, get my brain from the depression mode. Another thing I want to start back doing is making beats because that's time consuming. But I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to do that. But, yeah. Um, I do want to get into photography. Things to keep me out the house. So that way I won't be here bored and not... And just be thinking about other things to... Bad things like to do. So, yes. But, yeah. That's all I'm going to talk to you guys about, like, right now, because, I mean, I have to go to my Saturday dinner, and I got to, you know, get these kids dressed and ready. So, that's all I'm going to give you guys today. Just a few tips for fighting depression, things that you can do. But if you have any more questions, like if you want to ask me something, if you got any other tips that you have that will help me and other people that's fighting depression, please write it down in the comment section so that way other people can like look at it and, you know, brainstorm. So that will be A+. plus. If you haven't already, can you please like, subscribe, and share my channel because you would never know if the next person with depression needs this video and needs other alternative things to do if they really don't know so like comment 
subscribe, share. Thank you, and thank you for coming from, to my channel. Again, my name is Queen Surreal, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.